Good morning, everyone. I can still say good morning because it's two minutes to 12. <laughs> I'm just squeaking by today. I am an interesting mixture of fierce and exhausted. It's been interesting sitting here this morning and just feeling the different, like feeling into the different uh, things that are going on. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So much, so much continues to happen and to develop and to swirl around. And I think I'm going to sit for a while, do a lot of sitting in the next while and explore all that is. See what comes up, see what rises, see what shakes loose. Sit in silence, sit in gratitude and in love. I'm sensing that I'm supposed to be calling in the army again and, and working with them, the Altho and the stone people and the Qs and the magical forest beings. I don't know. There was so many of them. There were, there were otherworldly beings. It was just so wild when that happened in wintertime. You know, and I feel like the calendar, I feel like Wild Woman is, is going to seriously <laughs> rise again now. Oh, you know, I've had just the batshit wild past, uh, I don't know how long it is now, eight weeks or something. And I'm like, as I'm settling down again, the wild woman is rising. It's really interesting how that works. You know, I'm back here in hermitess mode, went through a whole revolting, my whole body sort of revolted over having to go back into hermitess mode, but <laughs> it is what it is. It's just where I happen to be. So I'm settling into that, settling into more of a routine. And it's, yeah, I think that the army is going to come back and we're going to do some really profound and intense work. Our soul family is growing. There's, um, there's just intense, incredible power in that. So coupled that with the army. I know that probably lots of you have absolutely no freaking idea what I'm talking about, but we'll see where this all goes. Uh, talking about our soul family, our forest, I'm going to add, I actually did my homework today. <laughs> I'm going to add um, 22 more pebbles into here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Two four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. Ooh, the thunder people are just starting to rumble there's a chance of um heavy storms today i've been sitting here and watching the clouds okay so those 22 pebbles were for the two-legged my two-legged human relations and then we have some more um animal animal and actually standing tall energy to put into here today so uh, Christina has a, a dog, a pity mix called Nalia, Na, Nayla, <laughs> Nayla, <laughs> beautiful name, don't know how to pronounce it, but it, it just looks beautiful. And however you pronounce it, I can just see it being beautiful. So that's a dog energy. And she has, she has three, I also don't know how to say this, three, so, 
sequeros. I just need to like pretend. She has three sequeros. Who are they are big cactuses. I looked them up. Really, really big cactus. Cacti. And she called them her kings. So we are gonna put three pebbles into here for your sequeros. I'll say it different every time. I might get it right at least once. So we have some cacti energy going into here and she also has a eucalyptus tree that is the queen. So that's for the eucalyptus. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and then that, that got me thinking. So when I sit here, I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you. When I sit here, I look at five keepers. As soon as I moved into the cabin here five years ago, because when I sit, when I sit, there's one window in my cabin and it faces the east, east, and it faces these five keepers. And I've sat there, sat at the window or sat on the deck here for the past year and a half, looking at these standing tall ones, my grandmothers and grandfathers. And there's five of them right there that stick out to me. And they are definitely my keepers. See if I can zoom in a little bit. So there are like there's there's one there, there's one there, one, two, three, four, and five. Something like that. Anyways, it's across the road, it's across the highway. You can't see the full uh uh you can't get the full energetic. Ah experience of them from a camera but they are super tall they're very mighty they are stable and they are steadfast and they watch over me they have watched over me every single day that i've been here without fail jamie sams talks about uh, a crack in the universe that's when you um that's where you like go journeying and that's where you go explore other realms of consciousness and stuff like that. And yesterday I was sitting here and it's like there's a crack in the universe in between two of those grandmother and grandfather trees. And like, wow, because I'm being called to explore and expand my consciousness. And I see that as a crack in the universe that you know, I'm going to work at getting myself through there and seeing what's on the other side. Part of, you know, being called to work with the army again is, uh, I need to stop swearing so much. <laughs> it's been creeping in again. And I need to be, you know, presentable isn't the right word, but um, I've just been a schluff for the past weeks partly because there's just so many freaking bugs and mosquitoes and I literally have one pair of pants that are really bit well I have one pair of pants that I can wear that and they are baggy and loose so that keeps the mosquitoes off of my legs and then I just you know wear whatever schluffy jacket I have but if I'm gonna work to the army they told me okay you gotta stop you gotta clean up your mouth <laughs> and uh and dress dress nicely, get up in the morning, do your hair and get dressed. And it's like, okay. And then um, I'm going to really, this is going to be my area of sitting here. <laughs> I feel like I'm sitting on a throne. It's like I have an old chair from the 60s or 70s. It's like the old um, orange, I guess, vinyl. And it has like, it has two um, armrests. So I like really sit here. I really feel like I can sit here. and sink into being a leader. I'm gonna clean up my deck and just get ready for more mystery, for more power, for more intrigue, for more wildness. Oh, and it's gonna come. <laughs> it, it's gonna come, it always does. It comes and goes, but you know, part of my journey is to gain more access to it so that it's not just random so that I can call it up, so that I can call in my power and the magic and the mystery 
to like seriously help me when I need it instead of it just randomly coming. So I'm still working at that. That's been, uh, I've been working at that now for a few months. Don't know if I'm making headway on it whatever okay so i'm adding five pebbles into here for my grandfather and grandmother trees on the other side there that are my keepers one two three four five they are i'm being called to go over there and put some tobacco at their trunks but pretty sure they'll be spruce trees because pine trees are way shaggier. The tamarack around here are nearly that big. And they're not fur. Yeah, so we'll call them our, our my spruce keepers. And then someone emailed me, so I'm not going to say her name. But she has a dog named Colby and a cat named Flo. So here's two pebbles for those. Let's just... Uh, I'm going to send some love to all of you right now so open up your hearts to receive open up your hands to receive take a couple of deep breaths in through the nose out through the mouth sink into your body Be open to what is coming your way. Just say, I am open to what is coming my way. And right now, there's love coming your way. So I'm just going to sit here for a couple of minutes and send you guys some love. If your hearts are closed up, feeling afraid, feeling anxious, feeling heavy, feel the warm tendrils of my love starting to swirl around. Swirl around your heart. If you are fearful, and anxious, afraid, depressed, angry, know that it's not in your best and highest interest to keep hanging on to these things. And also feel that start to loosen up as my love swirls around you. My love is picking up the little bits and pieces of darkness that you are ready and willing to let go of and it's being transmuted the more you let go of the more strong and powerful you will become the more love and light you will be able to radiate inwards toward your towards yourself and outwards towards others Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was nice. I let go of a lot of something for you guys. So thank you for being willing to let go of it. Thank you for being willing to 
explore, opening up your heart and just letting my love swirl around you. I want to ask you guys for something. Uh, I'm not quite sure how, how to phrase this. Never know how to shirt. Never know how to do this properly. I don't know if there is a properly. Let's just say there's no properly. And however I do it is just exactly right. <laughs> winter's coming. Fall, fall's coming first and then winter's coming. But honestly, it's all just approaching very quickly. And I need a different place. You know, it's not a... I'm not going to phrase it as a want. I am going to phrase it as a need, a pretty absolute need. I need a different place. I'm really, really, you know, asking spirit for my home to come. But I want to ask you as part of my family, as part of... Um, You know, I'm, I'm your keeper in some sort of way. <laughs> You're part of my forest. I'm keeper of the forest. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm asking you for help and getting me to a more comfortable living situation so that I can continue to take care of you, so that I can continue to raise the light and the love in humanity you know help encourage you walk beside you support you encourage you whatever you guys need winters here in this cabin are very very difficult and i'm just really feeling like i don't have another winter in me to go through what i've gone through here I know what the purpose was for me being here it was to get me to face my deepest darkest shit and I did it. I have done so much healing. You know, if you go back and watch some of the first videos I put out a couple weeks after I moved here, you know, you put that version of Molly beside this version of Molly and you can see what the past year and a half here has done for me. And now I know that I'm on the threshold. I am literally on the threshold for something else. And I just want, I'm asking you to hold space for whatever's coming next. Hold space for me. Help me call it in. Help me uh, magnetize it. I mean, whatever words we want to use, right? Um, there is so much power and love and light in here. Let's start accessing it for each other. Holding each other up. Um, help each other get into better either living situations, um, help each other get into different uh, emotional spaces, spiritual spaces. I don't know. You know what? The possibilities are absolutely endless. So I want to start exploring that and see where this all takes us because holy schmoly's man, I'm taking you along for the ride with me. <laughs> Let's jump in this together and, and really start to feed into our power and then uh, we'll give power to, give the power and the love and light to those who need it. So any hoozles, uh, that's my little blurb for this morning. I love you all. I love you all so, so much. Okay, oh, I just need to tell you so, some of what, I, what I'm calling in for my next place. So when I talk about being comfortable, I'm not talking modern. I'm not talking like it needs to have like a fully functional, fully functioning, beautiful bathroom and kitchen and like a big place. I need bigger than this. This is 200 square feet. It's too small to, to be comfortable in for winter. I need something that's warm in the winter, cool in the summer. I want to live uh, as much off-grid as possible. I definitely want to have wood heat. Uh, it keeps the cost down, and there's just something so nurturing and healing about wood heat. I would love to have a wood cook stove. Um, I don't necessarily need to have running water. I mean, that just adds more more parts, more turning parts, moving parts, which means that 
it's more difficult for upkeep and stuff, but there needs to be a decent water catchment system. Um, I'm fine with simple living. I love simple living. I love heating with wood and the rhythms that the, the daily rhythms of that. I love, um, I love this. I really do. So, and just as, and just, you know, modern living, uh, just makes me feel physically sick. Like I am allergic to electricity. I'm like hypersensitive to it. So that just adds so many complicating layers to modern living. So yeah, that gives you a little bit of an idea of what I'm calling in. Absolute perfection would be a cabin by the lake nestled in the forest. So don't know if that's coming next or if that's still like a few iterations down the road. Uh, and there's just so many different ways that this could be called into being. It's going to take magic and mystery. It's not like I have the money to buy something or even to rent something. But I live in cottage country here. I could house sit, cabin, cottage sit for, for a season. I could look after someone's place. So I'm just putting that out there. You know, I know that something is coming. I am working at my fear and anxiety over it because that is still rising in me and I'm working at trust. So you can also hold space for me in terms of the fear and anxiety and trust in myself and whoever else needs that sort of energy sent to them. Namaste. If you have... Um, four-leggeds, two-legged, standing ones, any sort of uh, energy that you really deeply connect with where you live, send it to me and I'll keep adding it into our glow growing collective consciousness, into our growing soul family, into our tribe, into whatever you want to call it. Let's be fierce together. Let's be fierce together and see where this goes.